My father was a cop, my brother was a cop, and I got out of the military and they, my dad wanted me to be a cop. And so I went into the police force. And I did that job for one year. And during the course of that year, I got stabbed and shot at and all kinds of things happened. And at the end of the year, I told my dad, hey, I know you want me to be a cop, but I gotta go find a safer job. I don't like being a cop. And luckily for me, he was friends with the fire chief and got me a job on a really good department. And he said, this is the safest job that I can get you. And I've been a fireman ever since. I was really new out here and got to go out to fire training area and they said three astronauts were gonna show up and I didn't know who they were. And I was gonna assist in their training because they used to use live fire training for the astronauts. So I was supposed to be out there in my fire clothing as their backup or protection, if you will. And I went to the fire training area and three guys showed up and they were in civilian clothes and they got out and they did everything we asked them to do with the extinguishers and the hose and the, and the mask and stuff, part of the training. And then they left and I had no idea who they were. And six months later, they stepped on the moon. It was the Apollo 11 crew. Uh, it's not hard. Uh, let's face it, the United States military uh, teaches 17-year-old high school dropouts to drive an M-13. Can't be all that hard. And that's what I tell the astronauts. And that gives them a little more incentive to uh, do it right, right? And I tell them, I said, you know, the shuttle cockpit's got over 2,000 switches. This one's only got two, on and off. <laughs> I mean, it's easy as it can be. If you can drive a tractor and plow a field, you can drive an M113. The astronauts, when they come here for TCDT, for the dress rehearsal, it's maybe two or three weeks before their launch. Uh, some of them have spent two or three years getting ready for that launch, and so they're very close. This is the last part of their training, and the reason it is last is because it's so important. Their lives could depend on it. This little bit of training they do here on launch day, that it has to be fresh in their minds. But when they get here, they're pretty sure they're going up, and they, they've always had a lot of fun doing it. They said, you know, is there a, a pass fail to this driving test? And I said, yeah, if you hurt the old guy, you're gonna fail the test. That's a, the that's a bottom line, don't hurt the old guy. The shuttle program was supposed to be a 20 year program at most, I think is what they had said then. The very idea of it lasting 30 years never dawned on me. And I never did have any retirement plans because working out here is so much fun. I, quite frankly, I'm thinking, why would I want to leave this? It's a blast. Uh, people who don't know anything about the space program cannot imagine how exciting it is to work out here.